Jackson. <laughs> and Denise Hunter Dixon. <laughs> to be my lawfully wedded wife. You my lawfully wedded wife. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I pledge to share my love openly with you. I pledge to share my love openly with you. And to speak only the truth and love. And speak only the truth and love. I faithfully promise to honor and tenderly care for you. I faithfully promise to honor and tenderly care for you. To cherish and to encourage you in times of sorrow and joy. <laughs> in times in time of sorrow, of sorrow ah. and joy. And joy. I, will support you I will support you in all the experiences of life, in all the experiences of life that, God will give us together, that God will give us together as long as we both share this. Amen. Now your time. Do I have to go to your own name? Hi, Constance. Take you, Anthony Lawrence Roddy. Take you, Anthony Lawrence Roddy. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded <coughs> In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I pray to share my love openly with you. I pray to share my love openly with you. And to speak only the truth in love. And to speak only the truth in love. I faithfully promise to honor. I faithfully promise to honor. And tenderly care for you. And tenderly care for you. To cherish and encourage you. Cherish and encourage you. In times of sorrow and joy. In times of sorrow and, and joy. And, and joy. Yes. I will support you. I will support you. In all experiences of life. In all experiences of life. That God will give us together. That God will give us together. As long as we go to share. As long as we go to share. Okay. <laughs> Y'all be turned back here. Now we're going to go to the symbol of my body. And constant faithfulness. And constant faithfulness. With all that I have, all that I, have I, honor you, I honor you in the name of the Father, the, name of the, Father, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. All yeah. right now, come fifty. Okay. This ring I give to you, this ring I give to you, as a symbol of my abiding love. As a symbol of my abiding love. And constant faithfulness. And constant faithfulness. With all that I have, With all that I, have I, honor you, I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the, name of the, Father the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm <laughs>
who they are and you and what they can be together. Yes. I thank you for this union and how this world is going to be different because they said yes to that. I thank you for the souls that's going to be saved and the ministries that's going to come out of this union. Man. the spirit of fear. We understand we all have traumatic experiences and we go through things for the Father. Amen. And so whatever you have for us. You brought us this far, so I know we can go further in union together. But deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever Amen Amen Amen
to always honor and respect and to be the best wife, partner, friend, and confidant possible. I will always love you, pray over you, pray for you, and with you. I will care for you to the best of my ability for the rest of my life. God gave me you so that we can complete the kingdom purpose journey. He has for both of us together as one. Okay, so I'm going to fall real short. <laughs> the challenge is to tell you my devotion to you. To find the words that express my love is true. But how can words express this feeling inside? The joy I have, this emotional pride. You are my extra. But you are my extra. You are more than usual. The quality that enhances the person God is forming me to be. Together we will be going beyond what is normal or standard. Trusting that God desires us to live a more abundant life. Together we will worship, live, praise, minister significantly, excessively, and elaborately in for the glory of God in Jesus Christ. But so you will always remember what extra it's for me. Mm -hmm. Enthusiastic. You are eager, compassionate, senior. You are friendly, hospitable. You treat strangers as friends. Thoughtful. You show consideration to the needs of others. Responsive. You have the sense of obligation to correct. Attractive. You are pleasing to look at, alluring, charismatic. Believing that there is power in the tongue for life and death, I speak my devotion. I speak my devotion to you. The intensity of my feelings for you will grow moment by moment. I speak admiration and affirmation, proclaiming my loyalty, faithfulness, and attentiveness. I consider it an honor to have you in my life. We both have so much to learn from each other. Well, I'm excited for what we will learn with each other. You are my sunshine on a cloudy day. The comfort of God is in your warm embrace. You encourage me when I feel stupid and useless. <laughs> your ability inspired me to live more in the presence of God and not to trust in my own ability. I desire to share everything I encounter with you because I truly believe you love me and you want to share all I do. I love you, Pastor. I think, I think about the time the lady called you and Mrs. Ralph. The joy and pride you expressed overwhelmed me. I only hope and pray I can be and do all God has for me to do and be so I can be and do all you need me to be. Oh, Amen. 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 Communion. Yes. How about that? That's right. Becoming one with the Lord. Doing marriage, y'all know they cut each other. Y'all there yet? <laughs> Communion. The Lord's table involves a threefold approach. Mm. We have a